What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D New back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with why I'm not moving back to the U.S. after living in Germany for over four years. I'm always intrigued to hear people's reasoning. Uh, I feel like usually it has a lot to do with uh, healthcare, safety, food. Um, can I think of anything else? Those I feel like those are the main three, but we're about to find out. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon, all up top. If you're subscribed to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Sure, man. I talk back. If you got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or in the description, there's a Google Form link. Well, we got Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Zoe Marie and I film videos here on YouTube in the category lifestyle, travel, and fashion. Today's video is going to be seven reasons why I'm not moving back to the United States. The sponsor of today's video is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Through Skillshare, you can explore new skills, deepen existing the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This type of content for me, it definitely helps me out and just shows that you support my channel. So let's just jump right into this with number one. So I've been getting a lot of comments from some of my subscribers asking when I'm gonna go back to the States or if I'm gonna go back to the States. And that's basically the reason why I'm making this video because from my perspective at this moment in time, I do not see myself ever moving back to the United States. I've gotten a taste of something different. And this is not to say that the United States is, you know, just something totally bad. It's just my perspective and the reasons why I really love Germany and want to stay in Germany or in Europe. So, number one is safety. I find the safe. I got one of them. Got one of them down. Keep it going though. Stay in Germany or in Europe. So, number one is safety. I find the safety here in Germany completely different, obviously, than New York and New York City. But I actually oh, feel as a woman quite safe in general here in Germany. I don't feel like I have to clutch my bag, clutch my pearls every time I'm walking down the street. I generally do feel very, very safe in the streets. Obviously, you know, maybe there might be some stairs more specifically if I'm walking at night obviously you need to keep yourself on guard I'm not saying drop your guard when you're here in Germany but I generally do feel safe I always felt in the United States especially in New York because that's where I'm from that I you know you just have to keep your bag close to your chest you just have to really look out it could be different for other US states but for New York especially if I go into the city or if I'm just in a little rural area of New York I just feel Feel like I have to you know watch out and of course this is not to say that crime and crazy stuff does not happen in Germany it's just not so big as it is in the States as it is in New York number two it's actually yeah I feel like I, I've never been to New York but I mean you see kind of things about New York on the news you see different things uh, I mean I'm sure it's a great place uh, but you, it's also a place I feel like you got to keep your head on the swivel. You you, you always got to be looking over your shoulder. Be prepared for anything. Uh, but like I said, I've never been. So that's just an opinion of what I've seen, uh, whether it be media and all of that. But can keep it rolling. As it is in the States, as it is in New York. Number two, it's actually quite easy to go back to New York from Germany. Normally I would have a layover, for example, in either Paris or Amsterdam for maybe an hour. And then it's just a seven hour, seven hour, 20 flight back to New York. So it's not like across the world. It's not like New York is so far from me that I don't get to see my parents and I am quite blessed that I am able to go back to New York at least twice a year to visit family so it doesn't feel like I'm completely ostracized here in Germany. On top of that I do FaceTime with my family every day so this deep 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 homesickness doesn't really take me over. It's obviously there but it doesn't overwhelm me because I do get the chance to visit my family often. Number three, Germany is very, very family friendly. I mean, mm, I've I never like been it. anywhere where it's just like so family oriented. I've never seen this before and for me it kind of warms my heart because I do want to start a family and I would love to start a family in Germany and the fact that 
things are just so you know child friendly there's like little grandmas looking out the windows watching the kids walk home making sure you know everybody's getting to where they need to get to i don't know i just feel like to have a family here in germany it would be really safe for example if i were to have a family in the states i personally feel like i would never let my child walk home after school or even a walk to school and if they have to because of circumstances like yeah. I have to go to work I would just be shaking because I would be in such fear I have just seen yeah I, I, I definitely understand where she's coming from on the uh, uh, not letting your child walk to school or anything especially if they're if they're young it's like you see you see all this stuff on the news and it, it's scary like it's it, it's scary to let your child out in the world like you and that's like no I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you and you see, uh, with, with all these mass shootings happening, these school shootings, you're almost scared for them to be even be in the school, to even be in the school. And so I definitely understand where she's coming from. And to find a place that's very family friendly, where you don't really have to worry about the safety of your family, uh, you can everybody's happy, you can raise them nice. I, I absolutely love that. So keep it going, Zoe. Like, I have to go to work. I would just be shaking because I would be in such fear. I have just seen such crazy things happening in New York with missing children and just that whole works. And here in Germany, it's not really a thing like that. You see kids, like little, little kids walking home and it's just, everyone understands that it's just a safe, environment it's actually normal for kids to walk home alone and they always get to their destinations so i i really do love that about germany i cannot wait to actually start a family here the fourth thing why i would not leave germany is the school system the school system in germany is really 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 good as well as it's free the aspect of paying for university why did she, why did she say free like that really good as well as it's free the aspect of paying for university in new york you're paying like arm and your leg that's actually yeah. what it costs to go to university i think it's not right i personally don't think that you should be paying for an education i think I think a lot of things, but the point is in Germany, you don't have to do that. If you're going to university, you can pay absolutely nothing for university, just the school fees, which could potentially be 500 to 600 euros, but I would pay that 600 euros definitely compared to a 30 grand tuition, definitely. And I think if I have a family and I want to have maybe three kids, um, don't judge me, I want to have a lot of kids, but for example, if I want to have three kids, Three kids ain't, ain't a whole lot. I, I don't think three kids is a whole lot, but uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, education for for to go and pay five to six hundred euros, like that's absolutely nothing. Even if that's per year, like that's absolutely nothing compared to what we have to pay over here. And so, if you want to get that higher education, you want to get that degree. It doesn't cost literally, like she said, literally an arm and a leg. You're not in debt for the rest of your life we're going to get that education. So I absolutely love that. Three kids, um, don't judge me, I wanna have a lot of kids. But for example, if I wanna have three kids and I have to support them through college and pay for their, their university degree, I would probably go bankrupt, I don't know, or eating oh, yeah. rice for dinner, only rice, because I could not <laughs> afford anything else. It's just so expensive in New York to go to school. And I think I can say this for all of the states, it's just it's expensive for a degree. And here in Germany, that's something that you don't have to worry about. So the fifth thing is just going to be the higher standard of living. Every time a subscriber asks me why I would choose Germany over the US, one of the things that I mentioned is the higher standard of living. Coming from New York where everything is just so expensive, <sighs> I mean, it is just ridiculously expensive. I just read this online, don't quote me on it, but New York has just been called, New York City has just been called the most expensive city in the States, outranking San Francisco. Again, don't quote me on that. New York is just expensive and the standard that you get for what you pay for is so, so little. You get basically nothing for your buck and it just makes no sense. But here in Germany, you have a higher standard of living as well as it's affordable. Your whole salary is not gone, paying for your rent or your mortgage, oh, okay. and you can still afford to eat, and you can still afford to go out, 
to dinner, go out with friends, it's all still very affordable. Things are taken care of here in Germany. For example, the roads. And this is just a funny story, but my dad and little sister did just visit me there already back in the States. But the first thing that my dad said to me was that, wow, what kind of like pavement, what kind of gravel thing are they using on the streets that their streets are so perfect and always perfect? How does it not get destroyed? And he's only saying that because in New York, I mean, like New York, shame on you. The streets, yeah. shame on you. The streets in New York, they're ghetto. I'm not even- Nah, nah, Zoe, I feel where you coming from. I feel like in a lot of places, even here, uh, you get all these potholes and, and you can just see where the roads kind of broke it up. Now, I say where I'm at in Texas, uh, Greenville, Texas, like they do like a lot of constructions going on all the time. So they are working to fix all these roads and get them smooth and everything. But there, there's still a lot of road that's broken up, that's messed up, uh, that definitely needs some, some, some TLC. You feel me? Uh, but keep it going, Zoe. I understand where you're coming from. Shame on you. The streets in New York, they're ghetto. I'm not even kidding. The potholes in New York will literally destroy your car. Literally. If you just drive into one pothole, your whole car could be destroyed. Here in Germany, those things are taken care of. So number six would be nature. Coming from Long Island, nature really was- Yeah, in New York, you ain't getting nature in New York. Yeah, Long Island, you definitely ain't getting no nature. Would there, be nature. Yeah. Coming from Long Island, nature really wasn't a thing in my life. I never really looked out the window at the forest. There was no forest around me or the mountains. There's no mountains around me. I never was really in that scene. And I wouldn't say I'm like super, super in that scene, but to actually live in nature and be surrounded by, you know, mountains, and the Alps and things like that it really just puts me personally at, like in a peaceful mindset to be able to wake up and see that or to be able to just maybe walk 20 minutes and I can just walk into a forest or see horses it really is something therapeutic for me which I didn't have in New York and I don't know if I would want to give that up again you just have to see it and be in it to kind of understand what I mean but so the last point that I want to talk about is traveling one of the bases of my channel is a travel channel it's partially a travel channel and in New York I mean it just wasn't working. To travel anywhere, even within the States, it might cost you a buck or two. But here yeah. in Germany, we're like kind of yeah. center in Europe, and I find that it's very easy to travel anywhere. It's not that expensive. And since my channel is partially a travel channel, this is something that I, you know, need to do. I need to travel um, as well as I love to travel. I want to see new places, but I also don't want to empty out my pockets because I'm not, I don't have it like that. So I don't want to be emptying out my pockets just to go to Northern Germany or just to go to the UK. I just, I don't want to do that. And that's the luxury that I have living in Germany is that I can travel freely, affordably, comfortably, and still have money to spend in the place that I'm going to, basically. So we've reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to add why you are not moving back to wherever you're from, definitely leave it in the comment section or just leave a comment in general about what you thought about my points. Again, this is just a little disclaimer. This is not to say anything bad about the US. It's Again, just don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and I'll see you in another video. Uh, shout out, Zoe. That was a really good video. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, she's giving her points on why she'd rather live in Germany. And uh, I'm, you just saw it. I'm, I'm glad that she found a place where she's comfortable, uh, high standard living at an affordable cost. That sounds beautiful to me right there. That's enough to get my bags and go right there. Uh, but she's uh, that, that's safe for family. Uh, it sounds like uh, Germany's, I, it sound, from the way she's saying, it sounds like Germany's absolutely incredible, absolutely family friendly. And just a great place to be. But that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite uh, video you want to see me react to? You can subscribe to Patreon or in the description section of the Google form link. Hit the link to lot your suggestions. Send it to me. Want me to get to yours faster? Others fill out premium. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Call the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible. Team on YouTube, she would in here.
out.